When you go to Korean traditional medicine clinic, you will see these medicine boxes. In 5,000 years of uh, Korean history, various mixtures of plants and animals have been used to treat or prevent diseases based on actual trial and error type clinical testing. And this knowledge and experience have been compiled into one book called Dongi Bogam, written about 405 years ago by a Korean doctor named Ho Jun. This book covers overall diagnostics, internal and external medicine, and various therapies, including soup therapy and also acupuncture, which you are aware of. In other parts of the world, when you have a headache or fever, you would normally take aspirin, Tylenol, or Advil. These drugs have been approved and used based on the scientific proven mechanism of action that reduces the precursors responsible for such symptoms. In uh, Korean medicine, headaches are classified into many different types. So for example, if you have a headache with back pain, without dry mouth, you will be prescribed with Cheonggung Dajosan. <laughs> Never mind about the pronunciation. If you have a headache with severe tiredness, you will be given another mixture of plants to treat, and so on. When you get those mixture of plants, what you do is you boil them together to extract the active compounds, you squeeze the soup out of it, and then drink it, the black soup, for a certain period. One major problem is this black soup contains, of course, active compounds to cure the disease, but also those compounds unwanted that cause your liver and kidney toxicity. Then, how can you isolate only those active compounds out of this and use that mixture as the approach to treat disease in a new way that's multi-compound, multi-target approach to address this human complex system. So that is the concept of multi-compound, multi-target approach that's useful for single target, single compound approach. You're looking at all the mouse with normal diet. You're looking at all the mouse additionally fed with a plant mixture containing beta lapachon. As you can see, this mouse taken uh, the plant mixture become much healthier and stronger because it increased muscular and your brain function through the compound called beta lapachon. Why? Why these natural compounds are better than synthetic chemicals to treat diseases? We have intensively analyzed all those known compounds in the natural product and found that these compounds have higher similarity, especially structural similarity to human metabolites. You're looking at the, one of the compounds in the middle that is from ginseng, similar to the metabolism in steroid metabolism, for example. One of the key philosophy in uh, traditional oriental medicine is so-called synergistic combination of king, minister, assistant, ambassador compounds. King compound is major drug, minister increases the efficacy, assistant reduces the side effects, and ambassador delivers the drug to the right side. This concept actually has been proven by modern systems biology because king represents to a major drug, and then a minister uh, represents to a complementary drug, and then uh, assistant corresponds to neutralizing drug, so reduces toxicity, and then uh, ambassador is corresponding to the uh, delivery function and enhancing pharmacokinetics. So we have intensively analyzed all those known compounds from natural plants extract, and then we looked at the uh, synergistic combinations. And you don't have to pay attention to these complex chemical structures, but in short, we found such a uh, synergistic combination actually exists to treat diseases better. So the old book has uh, not only the wisdom, but scientifically proven uh, mechanisms. Now, once you identify these active compounds, what are you gonna do? You need to overproduce them. So we use microorganisms. So for example, we were, we were able to engineer our gut bacterium called E. coli, and then now they are producing indirubin, which is a great anti-cancer agent, which should have been <coughs> extracted from plants, but now we produce through E. coli. Human life expectancy increased to 73 years. Number of people who are over 65 years old is about 580 million. Annual healthcare spending around the world this year will be about $8 trillion. What do you want to do about it? I think it's more important to prevent disease, make people stay healthy rather than treating disease alone. You are looking at Korean dinner table. By the way, you don't eat like this every day. <laughs> but this represents the best example of balanced diet or balanced nutrition is a typical example of multi-compound, multi-target approach to make you stay healthy. So medicine, nutrition, even cosmetics share the same line. The question, out of this uh, knowledge, 
in many different medicinal plants, can we really identify or how can we more rapidly identify those active compounds? Once we identify them, can we really engineer microorganisms to overproduce these individual chemicals that are functional? Also, last question would be, how can we reform our current health care system or management system to link nutrition and medicine together so that we can make our life much healthier in this aging society? Thank you very much.